Time for another adventure with Miss June. And today we're going to corn cob baloney. Is that right? No, hob carb barony or baroni. Oh, I thought it was corn cob baloney. No. All right, that's where we're heading to today. Well, since we're running a little early for this hob cob uh, barony thing, we decided to take a trip over to Polly's Island since we were passing through it. So we're gonna kill some time. We're just gonna drive around Polly's Island for a little bit. We crossed over the causeway. And usually during hurricanes, Polly's Island gets hit pretty dang hard in floods. People have to evacuate. But uh, no big storms lately. But there's a really old church here. They were coming up on it and be on the right hand side here. But they've had to move it a few times. They moved it across the street when they were redoing the pilings. Yeah. Let's pull over. Polly's Island House of Worship, built in 1946. So Polly's Island is in Georgetown County. We live in Surfside, which is Horry County. But they were doing some work on it. They had to fix the pilings and repair some of the damage to the facility itself. So they moved it to the parking lot across the street, which is weird. And they did the work on it and put it back. <laughs> Off we go. Worship is at 10 a.m. a lot for the beach area here off of Pauly's Island. You got the ocean off to our left and you got a little marshy area there off to our right. For the most part this doesn't get too packed with cars even during the uh, what are the season it's still not that bad. We've always managed to find a place to park when we've come over here and visit. Last time we came it was pretty full. Yeah, but we still found parts, but... but... But now we have to head back to our pointed date. Yeah. Pointed oh, time. time. Yeah. So I wasted 15 minutes driving around Polly's Island. Made it to Hopcaw Barony, Barony, whatever. We have some sort of uh, tour that we're taking here. It's a nature, what is this? It's a nature preserve, right? Recreational wildlife. I guess the wildlife get to hang out. Yes, there's an estate we can also uh, take a walk around in. Oh. Oh, this is the place with the hogs. The wild piggies. Oh, the feral, uh, feral pigs. Feral pigs. Yes. Yeah. That'll be fun. Historic sign with a bit of the history of hog car parody. There's also more of it on the back side here. Show you. But 
is a tie to Jersey. Look at that. Lord Carteret. <laughs> or as my friend Bob from Carteret used to say. Cataret. It's kind of weird the daughter had to buy the property off the father. It's kind of weird. I think they would just inherit it from them when they move on to the next adventure in their life. But she purchased it from her dad. I guess we go inside here to let them know that we've arrived for our 945 tour. This is inside the nature center here. Little billboards here are all pointing out the history of this area. Now this is that church I was showing you there on Pauly's Island. If you look at that one picture, you can see the water right up there. So yeah, it does does kind of flood. Always out in church for a lot. A little history of uh, sea turtles that come up here and nest and whatnot. Now this, this is, this is what they use. They've got an opening right here. But there's also something there. Almost like when they're doing uh, shrimping. When they shrimp, they got these huge nets that they use for shrimping. But yet there's an opening at one end of the net to let the sea turtles out. The shrimp don't get out, but the sea turtles can get out if they accidentally get sea turtles. I can assume that this used to have some sort of water life going on, but nothing in it right now. New fish coming soon. A short film. Now we're getting on our tour bus. Some cabins, as they're calling them, that were built for some of the people that lived here. Some of them were enslaved. The church. That is your part of your original, very early, very late 17, 1800s wood that was done. You also see newspaper. When newspaper was brought into play, they used newspapers for insulation. Miss Palmer lived here in the 19, oh, 1930s, 40s, maybe early 50s. You, she had a mattress, but if you were an enslaved African, you did not have that luxury as well. You did have a fireplace. And of course, this is her picture right here. You also see a replica of a mortar and pestle. We're going to talk about that in a minute when you come back out.
shell. brackish water bay, your Atlantic Ocean. We're right in through here. So this is why we say we're in the upland forest, centrally located. All right. You see the different names of the plantations. They're all very linear. They're skinny, number one, because it was labor intense and took years to build a rice field, as well as it, took, it depended on how many slaves you had that you owned. Another stop on our tour of Hobcar Barony. Yeah. Yeah. Morning. Welcome, Good morning. 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 How are y'all? Doing yeah. well. How about you? Wonderful. Thank you. Come on out here on the dock for a few minutes, if you will. How are you doing this morning? Georgetown across the Waccamaw. The International Paper has a plant over there. We often see logging trucks when we're on our way to Charleston or into Georgetown. Taking a cut down trees into the paper mill. and welcome to Hobcaw House. Uh, my name's Bill Hoyle, and I'll be taking y'all through the house this morning. Uh, any of y'all been with us before? I have. I'll let you do the tour. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> no. Fair enough. Uh, where y'all visiting from, my chance? Uh, Surfside Beach. We live there. Oh, do you? Yes. Pennsylvania. What part of PA? Central Pennsylvania near State College. Oh, sure. Yeah. Beautiful area. New Jersey. All right. North Carolina. What part? Durham. All right. Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're delighted y'all are here. Uh, I am uh, not a native of this area, uh, but I am a multi-generation nat uh, native Carolinian. Uh, I, like my father, was born in uh, uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. I uh, graduated the university and it's law school. I uh, practiced law in Greensboro for 42 years. Um, and uh, I uh, had a secondary career uh, in the United States Navy Reserve of about 28 years. So I've been employed most of my life, not always paid, but I've been employed. <laughs> uh, we are here at the beginning of Winya Bay. And Winya Bay is a confluence of five different rivers. You've got the Great Little PD, the Black, the Sandpit, and the Waccamaw. They come together to form Winya Bay. Um, we are on a much smaller scale uh, than our neighbors about 72 nautical miles south of us, uh, down in the holy city of Charleston, where the natives there believe that the Ashley and Cooper rivers come together to form the Atlantic Ocean. And we're on a little bit smaller scale than that. Uh, the predecessors of these bridges that y'all see on the right-hand side across the Waccamaw, on the left-hand side across the Black and PD, uh, those uh, predecessors did not open until July 1935. So when Lookbrook started buying this property in 1905, the only way he could get here was by water. Well, they would come down in their own private yacht or they came down by train. Uh, the train station at that time is where the steel mill is today. And brute boats would go over there and pick them up and bring them over here to the house. Um, a little history about the bluff where the house stands. Uh, indigenous people, 16th century. Uh, early 18th century British and uh, Native American trading post. As you know, first plantation, the barony granted 1718. 
a fork plantation cut out of Barony 1729. A, a plantation house uh, on this site uh, replaced uh, after the Civil War by a structure that was standing here in 1905 when this group started buying this property. So a house built out of heart of pine. The ch children nicknamed the Old Relic. And that house had a very, very sudden ending four days after Christmas, 1929. Uh, and uh, we think it uh, was probably a spark from an electric line that caused that fire. Because in the early years, folks, electric lines were bare wires. They were not insulated as they are today. And a spark from one of those lines hit that heart of pine and it's gone. Uh, everybody got out of the house, got a little furniture out of the house. And they were standing out here in the yard watching the old relic burn. And one Miss Bruce guest on that occasion, Senator Key Pittman, senior son from Nevada, said to Miss Bruce, said, Bernie, you got a good barrel of corn liquor down there in the basement. If I get that thing, it's going to explode like a bomb. And Miss Bruce told this story in his first autobiography. And he said he did not know whether it was the fear of explosion or the concern of the loss of good corn liquor <laughs> that prompted him. Senator Pittman and Judge Layton, one of Miss Brooks' classmates from City College, to dampen handkerchiefs, tie across their faces, and go back into that burning structure and came rolling out that barrel of corn liquor. <laughs> now, unfortunately for us folks, Mr. Brook did not share with us what happened to the contents of that barrel. So we have to stop it right there. <laughs> Enough said. So he built the house that we're going to go through. Uh, the house uh, built out of brick, concrete, and steel. Started in early 1930. Completed by February 1931. Yeah. No bridges. All the building materials come by barge from Georgetown. They tell us that there was a cement plant on site in order to build this house. Because you all know as well as I do, you cannot get a load of concrete in Georgetown, put it on a barge, two hours and 45 minutes, tide running right, get it over here and it's good for anything other than throwing in the water. Question? Y'all ready to go see the house? Yeah. How many fire police are in here? Uh, on the first floor, there are. There's five on the first floor. I see a lot of chimneys, that's yeah. what I was asking. <laughs> well, also, you may have noticed we came up, but if you go around the house, you'll five, five, find three different fire hydrants. And there's enough uh, line on each one of those reels to run from one end of the house to the other. Yeah. That's for that first time. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. Wanted to be prepared. That's right. Yeah. So, what did you think of your uh, your tour of Hopcore Barony? I liked it. A lot of interesting stuff. Who knew that many people stayed here? Presidents. Uh, uh, Winston Churchill. Yeah, Winston Churchill. Uh, royalty from France and whatnot. It's crazy. Yeah. That was a tall woman. <laughs> the daughter that ended up turning this place over into a preserve and nature She's center six, and whatnot. 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. Her dad was 6'4". Yeah. Her mother was 6 uh, foot. It's all family. <laughs> it was a good tour. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, let's go get some lunch. <laughs>